Okay, I'm going to start off with Agile. Uh, so, okay, some of you said um, most, it was mostly personal development and some of these parts may not be new. And if it's new, uh, just some uh, extra feedback for you guys. Uh, Paradise, uh, nice work with the SQL um, evidence. Just continue practicing and you'll get better at running queries. I would have loved to see some cleaner images to be viewed because some of the slides were a bit blurry. Uh, that I mean, that was the only thing I could uh, I could um, feed to you back on uh, for your presentation. Sarah, uh, nice dashboards. Uh, um, I like that you, uh, the KPIs are nicely placed at the top. Filters were there. Everything looked nice in those two um, Power BI dashboards that you displayed. And then the use of a dendrogram and data chart on Tableau. Those things are not easy to do, so kudos for trying those out. Uh, what you should um, look at is um, sorting your bars maybe next time. Uh, the only time where you don't bother sorting your bars is you know when it's a, a monthly thing where you have to do January to December. There's no point sorting. But when it's something that is random like, oh, the most sales or the most anything, it's always better for you to sort it out. So you're, you can easily pick out the the highest and the lowest. Um, also, check on the labels on those Jita charts. Some were appearing twice, some were not centralized. I know it's just a little bit of touch, but well done overall for giving that a try out. Um, Adele, Lisa, um, there was only one chance. Um, yeah, but it's understandable. You guys have been doing this for six weeks, so it gets a bit exhausting. <laughs> I've done this before, so I know how exhausting it can be, and you guys just want to take a break. But you guys have done well over the course of six weeks, and there's a lot of improvement that you guys should be proud of yourself. So who else? Okay, I think that was it for Agile, just three persons. I'm going to move on to binary. Um, Oinda Mala, well done on your data cleaning exercise. Uh, the thing about data cleaning is you never know what function you would need in a real life environment. And, you know, the more practice you do when it comes to data cleaning and thing that, that is when something that you've done doing your practice comes up, it's easier and quicker for you to just do it again because you've gone through that process. So that's one of the benefits of undergoing data cleaning exercise. Don't stop with this one, continue with other data cleaning uh, challenges. There's so many online that you can you can find out. There are people who do it and you just follow through the steps. Or you, if you want to challenge yourself, just get the data, clean it to the best of your knowledge and document your process. Um, you can use your chat time. You guys have logins. You can always go in there, document your process and then you know share. But overall, well done for undergoing that process. Uh, for SQL, well done, uh, keep on practicing. Um, uh, this next one is not really a big deal, but sometimes you just want to stand out when you want, when you write your queries. You know when you write your queries, the select, the form, those functions, try and keep them in capital letter. It's not compulsory, but it helps you stand out. Uh, stand out. Um, um, yeah, it helps you stand out. You don't want to be like every other person. Some people will just write in all in small caps, but you want to, differentiate yourself from other people and those are the small little things that could help and uh, and i think ayobami your your colleague also thought he did that um his sql queries were also good he select queries from where they were all in capital letters that's the standard way to do it um it's not compulsory because everyone has their own preferences but yeah if you can just stand out um Ebere, okay ayobami yeah same continue to practice there was only a scale for sql evidences continue to practice you get better um, a very good power uh, BI dashboards. Um, the Tableau, uh, I think you were just missing some KPIs in some of your dashboards. It might be in the previous dashboards you did. But just try and have some KPIs at the top and just have a good standard dashboard. Just check something online and uh, you'd be able to get better at that. Musmila, there was only one which was a chart. Yeah, just one chart. Uh, again, it was missing some KPIs. Always remember that when you want to do a dashboard, that's, there must be something that you want to just summarize and just give to your audience that very key that they need to see, key performance index, just at the top or on the side, somewhere on your, on your dashboard. That's one of the you know the first things you should look at doing before you now start doing the charts and things like that. And for but they well done, uh, good work as well. Uh, KPIs maybe perhaps make it bigger because that has to stand out for people to see. The people who are doing the dash before, it has to stand out. It has to be bold enough. It has to be visible on your chat. Um, yes, it was also well laid out, well laid out on Tableau. Uh, the, the dashboard I saw 
uh, yes, it was the one for most viable content. So that was really, really good. Um, attendance tracker. I think you you guys wasted a bit of slides with, you know, showing the individual attendance per person and the att attendance per group. That's the whole point of the dashboard. I know Mr. Davey might disagree, but you guys are at this, you are the sixth stage. I mean, you are at the stage where we don't need to see your process anymore. We just want to see the finished product and it actually look good, right? So you could have just done the dashboard showcasing all this information. You eventually did, but it was not the best of layout if you look at it because you had like a long list of um of attendance uh, in there, but the bars were so small and it was just squished in one corner. But since you've seen that it's something that needed more space, you now had a bar chart, right? The bar chart was now very long. So what you could have done was just make the bar chart take one third of the space, another chart take one third on the right hand side, another take chart take one third. Then you have more space to stretch out your uh your other charts that you have for um for the list of attendance. Again, it will make sense if you actually sort them out and put some labels. That would have been really, really good. But overall, you guys made fantastic progress. Um if you gauge yourself from when you started to now, you see that you've added extra layers of it. Uh of skill uh, as a DA. It doesn't stop there. You just need to continue um, uh, doing more, uh, getting more practice, um, having more dashboards, you know, documenting your work with that chat uh, uh, platform. Uh, always publish your work there and here. Uh, you can even have that link on your on your resume because when you apply for these jobs and they're asking you for evidence of your work or any of the projects that you've run, you have those links in there for yourself. So well done, everyone. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Just trying to think, should I just I'm thinking, do I do all agile first and then team binary, or do you want me to do it row by row? Your choice. Okay, I'll just do make my life easier. I'll do team agile first and then binary. So well done again, guys. Um, really, really good work. So I'm gonna start off with the um ADM. I think it was Emmanuel. Um, really good start. Um, Manuel, what I would encourage you just careful about just reading from your slides I think it's important just to be kind of short and sharp in terms of the key things that you want to say um, about what you've done so it's good to have the information there just don't read it off just get the key points that you want to address um, and kind of focus on that when you're presenting um, you showed us a chart in your visual aid and you said it was a Gantt chart um, I don't think it's a Gantt chart I think it's a project plan so please make sure that when you are presenting charts or whatever it is that it's very clear that you know give it the right name in terms of what you are calling it. And also when you've got slides, guys, utilize the whole slide. I, I do feel that some of you are doing print screens that are quite small and even going, even though I have the PowerPoint, some of the things are still quite difficult to see. So either crop the pages and just get the key things that you want. So for example, your burn down chart, you, you screenshot the whole page, Whereas if you just screenshot the burn down chart and make that bigger, um, that would be better. So just be kind of um, aware of how you put things on your slides. It does make it um, make a big, big difference with that. Um, you had a really great raid log. Again, making them a little bit bigger would have been um, better as well. And um, when it comes to some of your things, for example, you had your constraints. I was waiting for a little bit more information on that. It kind of left me a little bit hanging. So what else were the constraints? Maybe explaining them a little bit better for me. And again, with your lessons learned, um, these are the points where you had short points on there, but you weren't expanding on them. So I would encourage you to expand on those points there just to make it very clear and hit the nail on the head in terms of what the key things that you have learned. And it was really good to see um, self-development and what you've been learning from your click up as well. So well done for that, Emmanuel. Um, now over to Bimpe, the Scrum Master. Um, well done, really good slides, um, good layout in terms of the key um, tools. Um, just again, just to make it very clear, I know within the this internship you use Telegram. So yes, that's good that you guys talked about it here, but please, when it comes to your CVs and stuff, don't be saying you use Telegram. Um, in, in the workplace, you will use things either like Slack or uh, Microsoft Teams as a way of communicating um, other than emails. So just wanted to highlight that so we don't make those those mistakes, but it was good to see that. Um, again, you had your team capacity, excellent. 
clearly um, had your ceremonies. And what I really loved um, when it came to your metrics, you talked about your burn down chart and you showed me you had really good understanding of what they do, like explaining it. It's good to have screenshots, but you also explained what they meant and kind of summarize the key points from each of those burn down chart, which is really, really, really good, as well as your velocity and your cumulative flow diagram. These metrics are key for SMs to kind of um, be able to monitor the performance of your team. And also when, for example, you have your PO or other stakeholders that want to put more work within your backlog, you have those evidence there to kind of say, OK, yes, we can take it or no, we can't. Or this is the way um, the, the team have been working. So well done um, in terms of explaining that. Again, um, good summary of the key things that you did in the sprint. Lovely to see the work that was done. And it's going to quickly go on to the retrospectives. And I think this is really important. Um, as an SM, you want your team to come together and to tell you, okay, what went well, what didn't go well, but also the summaries of what are the key action points. There's no point having these retros and nothing is done. So it was really good to see the summary of your takeaways from those retrospectives, um, as well as your blockers, challenges, and solutions. Um, you had quite a lot of text on there, but I think you were able to kind of explain the key points. And I think at this point, um, someone mentioned you had one minute left and you started to rush. You'd be surprised, one minute is still a, a long time. So there were some things that you weren't able to explain enough. So please, when someone says one one minute left, um, don't be scared and feel like you have to run um, a hundred meter race. One minute is still enough time for you to give information on the remainder stuff on your slides. Um, again, yeah, so the last few slides you weren't really able to go through because you were rushing because you heard the one minute left, but on a whole, really, really good work there. I'm gonna quickly just run to the slides just because I wrote some notes, but I also like looking at the slides as I go through to, I think it was Onomare, the project manager. Give me two seconds. Um, just because I like having a look at the slides as I go through. Okay, um, on a really, really good um, presentation. I do I do find, I don't know, maybe it's your voice. You, you speak really well in terms of calm. You don't seem like you're under pressure, very confident. So that's really, really good um, when you are presenting. So hopefully that will continue on as you're moving forward with, with roles. Um, good to see the work that you have done. And again, really good explanation about your ClickUp not just having the print screen there, but explaining it, um, what you've what you what you've learned from it and what it tells you. So that was really good and what it tells us as um stakeholders. Because remember, this presentation you are given is to your stakeholders. And again, um, good explanation and summary of the key things that each person has done. It's really good, even though there is so many of you, it's really great that even though somebody is might be the lead, that everybody is still working together. And I think that's really, really valuable because you will learn a lot. I think if you if you sit around twiddling your thumbs, you won't get the experience that you need. So really well done for all the um, PMs working on your team. And it was really nice to see your um, tracker. Um, one thing I will say, if you are doing a tracker for the stakeholders please be careful of the date so I had a look at okay this is really really good but then I looked and see this is for third of June have we not had trackers up until then because we're in in August now so I think if you're doing a um, tracker of the sprint I would expect to see the dates of the most recent so the last two week sprints is what I would expect to see so please just make sure those little things because as a stakeholder that's what they want to look at what is the most relevant thing or the most current thing within that so just please be careful maybe it was a mistake or, or you haven't changed that but do be careful of those little little things there but really really good stuff um, from the ADM SM and the project manager on Team Agile. So well done, guys. So let me go on now to team binary. So I, I am a person from a 
technology background in terms of graphics. So I really do like the layout. This part, this presentation was really, really nice in terms of the layout. So I can see you guys have thought about it. And it, you, you realize how it does make such a difference when you have a good layout within a presentation because it's clean, it's clear, and you're able to see the key points. So let's start off with um, Stephen, our Scrum Master. Um, really good. I know this sprint, I know, was mostly focused on personal development and obviously you've got your your sprint goal in terms of the gateway um just be careful i know i've seen like your definition of ready or team tata team, um, scrum ceremonies before which is good literally don't spend too much time on them just saying that these are the key things especially if it's stuff that you have shown already just tell them what it is and move on it and again with your team and one thing if your team is staying the same within the sprint you don't need to go through and say okay th these are the people within your team the only time you might need to say something about your team members if there has been a change so for example maybe somebody has left you've got a new joiner then you would mention okay this um there's a change in your team otherwise i wouldn't um use up your time going through everybody within the team um and uh, yeah that's fine so again um yeah Good information in terms of what your deliverables were. Again, you were very clear in terms of your delivering the presentation. Um, I just want to talk about your capacity planning. I don't know if maybe if you can answer me or if maybe it's because you didn't have a lot of people. So I was just looking and there were only three people within um, this sprint that have any capacity. Is, is that correct? Was there only three people working on your sprint this, this sprint? or I know the other people zero. Stephen there? Okay, so maybe it was only three people. So I was just a little bit concerned that I only saw three, um, three um, people. Um, sorry, but um, even if it's not Stephen, I think someone there should have also, yeah. can also answer that. I I'm not the answer. I know why. I, I think I got a, a big idea of what could have happened. But anyone from your team could could answer why that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Is team anybody in team binary there? <laughs> Stephen was going to respond. I was going to respond. Um, we didn't have we didn't have much of us working on it. Um, we had limited uh, number of um, SMs on the on the jump. In fact, Stephen too had difficulty uh, joining which, because it was very very difficult for him to join in as well. That's the reason why it's uh, low as it is, you know. And we've had issues with um, developers all the while as well. That's the reason. Okay, that's fine. Just just to make clarify, um, when it comes to your capacity planning, it's not the SM's capacity that we want to know. We want to know the testers and your developers. So um, that's fine. Yeah. I don't think you had a resource issue. That's okay. Yeah. No problem. That's why I just wanted to double check that because I was a little bit surprised that there was only um, three people filled in, but that's fine. Thank you for that um, response. Okay, yeah. Um, and I think... Yeah, that's it. And then, okay, so then when it came to your metrics as well, you were able to name them. But like I mentioned before, um, it's always good to explain the key things, like show me that you fully understand them. Um, I think you mentioned a couple of things, but I felt like there was lacking in terms of explanation. So I want to know, okay, in this sprint, what, are, what is your burn down telling me? What is your velocity telling me um, in terms of the performance of your team? Um, and then again, with your retrospective, excellent that you put the cards on there. But what are your key takeaways? Um, as a stakeholder, I want to know, okay, what went well, what, even better if, and what are your action plans? What are you going to take forward to make your next spring better? Um, so again, it was good to see what you have developed so far. And with your lessons yeah. learned, I put a question mark. So I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm wrong. Anyone else can add. Um, it didn't. These didn't really seem like lessons. It seemed more like wins or um, like what has gone well. So just kind of maybe making sure that your lessons learned are like, what is it that you've learned and how is that gonna make a difference um, within the next stage of that? But um, on a whole, again, really really clear presentation. Um, and I'm not sure 
if it was you, but there was background noise. I'm not sure. I know we can understand if there's children, etc. But I felt there was background noise that maybe could have been um, avoided, if could. So just a little note on that. Um, just make sure that we're in positions for that. Um, I think, yeah, your, pro your project manager um, presented, but not ADM. So let me go through um, your project manager's um, feedback. And again, group members, you mentioned it, which is good, but you didn't go into too much detail. Just make sure that, again, it's only the key changes, if anything. Um, what I did really like is, again, your attendance tracker. And this is, I can see, yeah, so this one, it was good. You can see this one is up to date. So I can see you've included information of the most recent sprint, which I think is important that you are um, including within that. And your lesson learned, you had key points on there. Um, it was a short presentation. So hopefully I know you guys did some personal development and, and I think you mentioned that as well, but um, with the key stuff that you have included, um, I would say well done with that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. ADM did not present. So yeah, thank you very much. Hi everyone. Good evening. Um, okay, I'll start with Team um, Agile. Efe, um, well done on your presentation. Um, I really like that each of you have the opportunity to be lead BA and to present because sometimes when you see others do it, you think it's easy, but then when it's your turn, you know, you face all those butterflies and all of that. But the more you do it, the easier it becomes. I really like the presentation. However, and the presentation went really well uh, for the most part. However, I already knew you were going to overrun your time. I hope you're listening to some of the feedback from some of the other mentors, because I will rely on some of what they've said. So I already knew you were going to overrun your time because you were taking your time you know i'm talking about oh these are the names of people if you've already done it this is sprint six you know we, we kind of know the members so it, it it's better you use your time to focus on things that are specific to that sprint to the delivery and the demo that you're that, that we're here to see rather than you know the preliminaries you just took your time and obviously you overran so you need to be pace yourself in such a way that you know okay the I have just a few minutes to do this these are the important things I want to highlight that are specific to this sprint you know so um that's just my um, advice for the next for for presentation your next presentation um you 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 mispronounce some words, so it's elicit, not elicitate. Is buzzwords, not booze words. You know, so um, just be be um, be careful about how you pronounce things because, again, it shows that it shows your comfort with the words. If if you mispronounce the terms then it shows that you don't use them regularly so because if you did you'd hear other people use them so you'd be able to pronounce it the right way so you need to be very careful when you're talking about these terms to make sure you use the right terms you can even go on google and you know ask google how to pronounce some of those words um okay i really liked your artifacts you guys had um, showcased a lot of your use cases user stories and wireframes i really liked the detail of your stories um one of the things you guys were able to do was to delve into the the actual story you know so you guys talked about you know for the payment stories you talked about your happy path and your own happy paths and then you you walk through the different scenarios and i listened to the feedback from i think it was either the sm you know talking about how all the stories had issues i would like to know what issues the stories had because i think you know for example i think someone said oh we didn't have paypal details that's different if you don't have um the details or what you need to make the stories um to implement the stories that's another thing but to say that the stories had issues i would like to know what the issues 
where with the stories because I personally like the stories. They were very detailed. You guys went through the different scenarios and that's what you need. As a BA, you need to be detailed. You need to think through everything. So this is a possible scenario. This is an impossible scenario. It, it, obviously for QAs that are used to having just one scenario, when you see four, five, six different scenarios, it's stretching them a bit. But I also saw that when the QAs were presenting, they also talked about the test of the different scenarios. So eventually it elevates the whole team when, you know, the BAs write detailed stories and the QAs have to make, you know, test it in detail. So the fact that you're used to stories having one scenarios and all of a sudden you see stories with multiple scenarios, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the story. So I just want you guys to, um, take that away i the stories i saw were great they were very detailed if you didn't have paypal or any technical thing that's another issue altogether so please bas um same thing even with binary i also got that i heard that feedback from binary stories and i'd really like to you know find out what the issues were but if it was the stories i saw your stories were really good so please don't you know, uh, we don't don't stop thinking through because the project, you know, the QAs and the dev guys are like, oh, we have a problem implementing these stories. That's another issue altogether. So I just wanted to make that really clear. I really like the details of your stories. Um, also, I like the breakdown of your PBIs. The visual representation of what you guys did was really lovely as well. And even though you overran, you acknowledged that you did and you apologized for it. I think you're one of the only few people who did that. And that was really good, very nice manners. So um, kudos on your presentation. Uh, for Tim Binary, Oluwale, firstly, I, I want to piggyback off of Bola's point that your presentation was clean. It was beautiful to see. And when I, I, I remember some of your earlier PowerPoint presentations. Oh my God, you guys have come a long way. You know, it, it was beautiful. It was well, you know, organized. It was lovely. It was really nice to go through everything. And honestly, my thing was you didn't have enough slides. I wanted to see more because the way you presented it was really, I don't know who did. It looked like it was one person who kind of put the finishing touch over everything, but it was lovely. I loved your layout. It was really good. Um, and Oluwale, I was there last week. I just want to say what a, a difference a week makes. I was there for your personal presentation. And in just seven days, this I, I don't know what happened, but your presentation today was, it was beautiful. I don't know what you did, but it was so good. You were very, very conscious of the time you had. You went straight to the point you wanted to highlight. You you missed the, the five minute mark by one slide, just one slide. It was literally thank you. And you had done. So if you had, you know, if you had, you know, just a second more or something, you won't have overrun your time. But I loved your pace, the way you talked about each slide. You knew what you were talking about. You were not just reading. Like you talked us through all the different um, scenarios and your pace was fast. So you, you, if I had questioned you on any of those stories, you would have been able to answer because it was clear you knew what you were talking about. It was, it was, it was night and day from your previous presentation. So I really want to commend you on that, the, just your growth in presenting. Absolutely lovely. And um, uh, I really liked your artifacts. Binary, you guys, when it comes to artifacts, I don't know. You guys go above and beyond. Like, I really, really loved seeing your artifacts. Finally, your wireframes were logo free color free text free and then you guys did something that was absolutely awesome like you took a screenshot of the checkout page and that's what you should do your wireframes are simple you know clean uh, wireframes but if you want a, a pictorial um representation you can take a screenshot and add it as well there are some um um, stories that all you do is even just add the the images so you can do that as well and you combine both of them so well so I just want to commend you on that I liked your wireframes your gap analysis you guys went to do gap analysis on here so good like absolutely when it comes to artifacts like you guys just go above and beyond um, you had process workflows you have process maps your user your use cases had specifications like different it was it was good it was really, really good. Um, 
obviously you you brought your 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 heavy hitters you know with your customer journey map you re reproduce those again your functional non-functional you know all of those were really good i liked your lessons learned even your the presentation of the tools you didn't just list them you showed us you know images and there's something about visuals there's something about images it's if you can use images rather than text please use images and that's what you guys did was just absolutely lovely really liked your presentation um i know you're you're all working on presentations on artifacts for your sprint six because that's another thing you did you actually told us what you're working for for sprint six please add the artifacts you work on onto sharepoint we want to see them we want to you know i, I would love to see what you guys do because when it comes to artifacts you guys create very very good you, you you do it very well i just want to say that so kudos on your, your presentation really well done thank you okay thank you so much to all the qas congratulations well done you guys have done very well each and every one of you to be honest um yeah um just gonna go with um, Agile first, yeah. So um, I like the presentation, good content, everything was um, well structured, clear and concise. And um, you had your test coverage um, slide, which was great. You had your automation slide, which you had lots of automation slides there, which was great. And you also showed one that was passing as well that passed, which was great. And um, I, I liked your, um, uh, what is it called now, your RTM. Um, the, you also had um, a video for Malara standing in for one of your uh, colleagues, which was great. Um, Tim Tupper, thank you. Well done for doing that. And well done to Malara for putting that out. Um, one thing I want to say about Aja is that uh, I like your consistency now this uh even though i think it was i don't know if it was up to two weeks for the sprint but what you guys presented was great i think you kind of added everything that you've done uh, from sprint one to five if not you also added your um uh, what is it called now your test plan and your test strategy the introduction bit i i just like the way it was well structured from the beginning to the end it was um it was really great, and I really kind of liked the contents that were uh, uh, that you had on your slide, and um, which just proved you guys are really, really doing well, and um, you are you you guys have been very consistent. I'll, I'll say that again, yeah. So well done to the agile team, and um, binary, well done. Um, you had your Azure board, um, yeah. I didn't see any automation. But then you also had a a, um, a slide with a um, bug that was raised. And then you had your steps to reproduce. I'm not sure why that steps re to reproduce is like that. I don't know if it was the one that was generated or it was um, basically um, designed by you guys manually. I don't know. But it kind of looked different from the normal step to reproduce that we do see on Azure board when the bug is being raised. Um, but yeah, it was all right. And um, that was the only um, test that this is what I've been saying. And this is, you guys keep repeating it. So it's just like, oh, that's the only thing you guys did for this sprint. No, any other um, 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 slide for, to, to showcase what has been done for this sprint. So does that mean that was the only test case that was um, done, done and then you guys at raise a bug and that was it, no automation. But then, oh, well done. I know where, where you guys are capable of. And the reason why I do complain is because um I, I think I said this in your class. Um, You have about three people that have um IT background in binary team alone, three of you. And I'm sure Aj, I have none. And you guys know yourselves. And um, But yet, every fortnight when you guys present, I'm expecting you guys to give me that wow factor but i'm not getting it and um it might seem maybe ash but that's the truth i'm sorry i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but yeah um yeah um but yeah well done so it had less information because i think you only had about four or five slides i didn't really see no much content from you guys nothing to showcase what you've done for this sprint i'm afraid but um i know 
you guys are good, but I don't know why you guys are not showcasing it. Each time you keep proving me right. And uh, yeah, but having said that, I know your individual presentation was great. Each and every one of you did well, except for uh, one or two persons or so. But yeah, but well done. Um, for me, I'm sorry I have to say it's Agile team has been consistent. And for me, they are the winner for this uh, automation cohort. So well done to each and every one of you and congratulations. And I wish you all well and um, see you all in advance. Thank you, Laomi.